this classroom is planned to get ventilated by ventilation panels being opened automatically during the breaks. Simulations should ensure that uh, the comfort conditions can be guaranteed during winter and summer. The classroom has three ventilation wings of the same kind. And as we see here uh, from the schedule, uh, the wings are opened during the breaks. The classroom is heated in the winter by this radiator with a maximum power of 3.5 kW with design conditions 21 in the room, 70 for supply liquid and 40 for return liquid temperature. As simulations are already done, we can directly have a look at the results. First of all, the mass flow through windows. We can see here a time slice of one hour with a 10 minutes break and the windows being opened the first seven minutes of the break. We can see a mass flow of one kilogram or cubic meter per second through the opening. The question was now what size of radiator is needed to compensate this heat loss through the windows. We can see here heat flows to, to and from the classroom and during the same break. In red uh, we can see the heat loss through the window which goes up to 45 kilowatt and uh, at the beginning of the break and 20 kilowatt at at the moment where the windows is closed. We can also see the heat in green from uh, uh, wall surfaces to the classroom which can compensate already uh, quite a big amount of this heat loss and in blue the radiator power which is only 5 kilowatts but even with this low heating power, room temperatures get back to reasonable levels when pupils are re-entering the classroom. But looking at the air quality report, this time for a whole weekday, we can verify that the opening times are long enough to guarantee the air quality. In blue, we can see CO2. CO2 concentration uh, going up during the lessons and down during the breaks. So far the winter situation, but let's now have a look uh, to the su summer situation and change uh, simulation period to a week in June. We start at 13. And go to 21st. Let's do the simulation. And looking at the results, we can see that the room temperature are rising from day to day during the whole week, reaching 29 at the end. Of course, that's not what we want, and so let's see what we can do against it. To do this, we saved the case as a basic version and now start to modify it, going to the window table and implementing some integrated shading. We choose the external blind for this and copy the same blind for all windows. And let's have a look uh, that really all windows have this integrated shading. Save this case as a first subversion and reopening the basic case to do another modification. This time we uh, take the schedule of the ventilation opening and let's do a night ventilation in addition to this uh, break ventilation. And save this case as a second subversion of the base version. So we do have external blinds and night ventilation as two versions to the base case. 
Let's now update all cases. So IDA eyes will now simulate all cases which are modified and not simulated yet, which is the second for, with the external blinds and the third with the night ventilation. Let's now have a look at the results and compare the room temperature for all cases and we can see that uh, both versions uh, show lower temperature but still the temperature at the end of the week is higher than at the beginning of the week. To investigate the effect of the combination of both external blinds and night ventilation we can copy the differences between two versions and get a new version with night ventilation and external blinds. Let this version um, get updated and look at the results and we can see in brown our newest case where we can hold room temperature during the whole week.